So let's talk about how to make or break this setup with all Moxie. By now we've seen a lot of people sign up and either be successful or fail at implementing all Moxie in their company. And we've noticed a very distinct pattern with all of them. So we put together this document that's below called the make or break document. It exposes the very distinct patterns we've seen throughout the years and shows us over and over the same things that were happening that were making or breaking the setup process. We noticed that over and over the same things were helping or hindering companies to get launched. And here's the list. In no particular order, they all seem to be present in equal amounts. I'll talk through this, but please go through and read it for more detail. Okay, so number one, one one launch at a time. All Moxie will do a lot of different things for your company and it takes a while to get all of that up and running and we found that it works best to launch one thing at a time. Launch often, launch small, get feedback, correct mistakes, an inch forward. Companies that want to have everything 100% working, terrified of making any little mistake, tend to never launch. And companies that have the mentality of what can we use now or next week, what piece can we use today, are the companies that got the most value the quickest. The second one I call Gym Now Spa Later. All Moxie is here to challenge and change your business. You are here because you want things to be better and different. And so in that regard, All Moxie is more like a gym and less like a spa. We're not here to pamper you and tell you that your business is great and help you do things the way you've always been doing them. We're going to challenge you and make you uncomfortable and push you and make you think differently than you have in the past. So if you're okay with some temporary discomfort and hard work, then you'll have lots of time later to relax at the spa. The third one is look in the mirror. We found that as a business owner or high manager in your company, you've helped your company get where it is today. You're largely responsible for any of its successes, its systems, processes, and some of those things you want to change anyway. And that's why you're here. You've spent some of your career building this thing and defending it and promoting it. However, this is a big change, a big implementation. And if you can look critically at yourself and at your business and change those things for the better, instead of just defending everything you've done until now, you'll be so much more successful, not just in implementing all Moxie, but in everything else. Okay, so the next one is all about communication. We're gonna be working together a lot. Our team and yours have a lot of things to communicate back and forth to each other. And there are a lot of ways to communicate. The bottom line here is that each one of those ways are like a tool, and you have to choose the right tool for the job. Your preferred communication method might not align with the right tool for the right job. So if you're open to use the right kind of tool for the right kind of communication, you'll be much more successful than just using your preferred method. Okay, the fifth one. Automation is essential. This one is touchy because it deals with humans. It's pertaining to the people in your company. So the people that you're around every single day, the people you rely on, the people that run your company, those people you trust and love and respect, large portions of their job, of their day-to-day -day activity, are going to be eliminated. Those things are going to be automated. And as the boss, you need to have the right mentality and communicate properly to these people. They need to understand that their jobs are not on the line. They're not setting up all moxie to replace themselves, but rather by setting up all moxie and eliminating these mundane tasks, they can focus on things that only they can do. You don't want the people that you put in charge of setting up all moxie worried about their jobs and sabotaging the implementation process, but rather you want these people to be excited to get this up and running so that they can spend less of their time wasting doing mundane things and more time doing things that your company desperately needs the human touch for. This one is really all about understanding the difference between humans and machines, which tasks are better suited to machines, and which tasks are better suited to humans, and not getting the two mixed up. Okay, last but not least, find the right person to implement all Moxie. I call this one assign a millennial, but of course there is no age recommendation. You don't have to be 24 to do this, but I strongly suggest that you find someone in your company to whom technology just comes natural. Everybody has different talents. Some people are better hands-on. Some people are better at tech. And All Moxie is definitely a technical endeavor. So find someone in your company who understands your company, 
and understands technology. If they already have a good technical base and intuitively know how to use these things, your setup will go so much faster. Okay, so again, that's it. I'm going to stop talking, but go through the document and please read it and get a little bit more detail. Once you're done, go through these, think about it, and make a plan.